To install our surface mounted privacy lock onto our metal frame glass barn doors, follow these eight quick steps. Step one, completely install your barn door per the instructions given. You can also reference our installation video, which is shown here and linked in the description below. Step two, align the receiver cap and washer. Then insert the strike into these two parts and into the hole cutout on the rear side of the door. On the front of the door, install the front washer, securing with the provided screw bushing and hollow screw. Use the provided Allen wrench to hand tighten. Do not over tighten. Last, screw the decorative cap over the screw bushing until finger tight. Step three, verify the wall thickness to confirm you have the correct lock set. Size for either a 2x4 or 2x6 studded wall. Step four, using our paper template, we're going to prep the jam for the lock. We recommend first applying some painter's tape in the general areas we will be drilling to ensure we get a nice clean hole edge. Slide the door to the closed position and using the paper template provided, align the template on the jam at the height of the installed door receiver. Notice the bore hole on the jam side is offset 964 of an inch lower than on the wall side. You want this alignment as precise as possible. Again using painter's tape to protect your wall finish, take the paper template to the wall. With a 3 8 inch drill bit, drill 3 inches deep into the jam on the marked location. With a 2 and an 8 inch Forstner bit, drill on the jam through the drywall and into the stud 1 and 3 quarters of an inch deep. Note, do not exceed the depth of the wood stud when drilling. A minimum 1 quarter inch or thicker wood backing is required to support the lock. Step 5. Use a 1 inch hole saw to cut the lock bore at the required depth for your wall construction. Now you can remove the template and the painter's tape. Step 6. To make things easier, we will temporarily screw in our long trim screws from the next step into the lock bracket. This simply makes it easier to hold the bracket when inserting into the jam. Insert the lock bolt into the wall and fit into the bracket slot. Make sure that the arrow is pointing up on both of these parts. Next, we can test the bolt retraction with either the trim spindle or a screwdriver. Now we can remove the trim screws and fasten the two wood screws inside the trim bore hole through the lock body and into the wood stud. Step seven, our manufacturer provides extra long trim screws for varying applications. For our application, we will need to cut these down at the second notch from the head of the screw. You can do this with a pair of heavy duty wire or even bolt cutters. Now we can insert the trim and fasten to the jam with the screws until the trim is tight against the wall surface. Step eight, test the lock for correct functionality. Using the provided emergency release key, simply push the key through the center hole on the receiver, which will push the lock bolt back to unlock the door. That completes our concealed privacy lock installation.